Today we're going to be repainting this, but it's all rusted and ugly, I guess. I don't know what else to really say about it, but yeah, I'm just gonna start painting it. I'm watching Game of Thrones while doing this, so if I stare that way, that's why. <laughs> So here I'm using a sterling silver brush that I got from Home Depot for like $4. Um, and with this brush I went over the whole thing two times just to make sure that there was really no rust left or anything that would stick in the paint. And once sanding's all done, I wipe down the whole thing to make sure all the rust and dirt and grime is all gone. So next step is priming, and this is the primer I'm using. Um, and using my new spray paint tent that I just made, which is another video I'll link down below. But yeah, just priming the whole thing and then once I'm done with this, I can go in with painting. So now time for painting. This is the paint I used. Um, I chose gold for this piece because I thought it matched the whole aesthetic of it. Um, and then I did two coats of this total with giving it, I think, like two hours of dry time between coats. And here's what it looks like completely gold. A couple days ago, I finished painting this gold, but I, for the past couple days, I've been kind of sitting on it. Like, I don't know if I like how gold it is. So I think I'm gonna change it. Actually, my mom came over over the weekend and I told her how I think it's too gold for my taste. So um, she came up with the idea to actually paint some of it black and leave some of it gold. So I think I'm gonna leave like the detailing, like this part, and then this circle gold. And I think I'm gonna like, paint the legs black and this area black. I'm just gonna start taping up the parts that I wanna keep gold and then paint the rest of it black. So just using good old fashioned painter's tape to cover all the spots that I want to keep gold so I can go ahead and paint the rest black with spray paint. Taping these parts were actually pretty tricky and tedious just because I had to get around each part because I wanted the outline to be completely black and not keep the bar gold, if that made sense. So just finished um, taping this all up, so now I'm going to start painting the edges black and this is the paint that I'm using, primer and paint. So if I redid this project, I would have sanded down the areas where I'm putting the black paint here. Because one of the reasons why we sand is so that the paint sticks better. Um, and I had two layers of paint underneath this already, so it just didn't, this black paint didn't stick that well. But I ended up getting around this issue by just doing an extra coat of paint, so three layers total of paint. This is all done drying so I'm gonna take it upstairs and take off the tape. I'm all done. I'm actually super happy how it turned out. I actually really like the black and gold combo look and so good job mom <laughs> if you're watching let me know if you guys like the all gold look better or the black and gold look better i'll link all my materials down below my instagram because i post more stuff on there too yeah i hope you liked this video if you did like and subscribe i post videos every friday and yeah <laughs> that's it i guess see you next time